What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel and today through MaddenSchool.com, we'll have them linked in the description. We They helped us out last year uh, by dropping some news when we talked about player ratings and abilities. They have dropped as of now because things can change. We saw it with some of the ratings that they had posted and then the official ratings that have been going on ESPN and stuff. I remember Saquon Barkley was an 89, but then he came out as a 91. So there's a chance that what we're going to be going through here could change. But as of right now, we should be getting a fairly good idea of what we're going to be dealing with for the X Factor abilities in Madden 21. I'll be, because there's a lot, there's a lot more superstar abilities than what we had in Madden 20. So I'm going to be breaking this into positions. I don't know if I'm just going to get a bunch of different videos up tonight for each position or we'll just kind of space it out a little bit. But uh, we will be going through all of the X Factor abilities. And just because I don't, you know, if I did all of them, there's so many, we'll be here for like 25 minutes. We'll break them down and we're going to start with the quarterbacks so looking at the quarterback abilities here first up off the rip um let's see let's move this i don't know if you guys are gonna be seeing all this stuff and there we go all right so i can see what's going on so we first up we have pro reads four great quarterbacks vision and anticipation are paramount and this own. the first receivers open so this carry over from madden 20 tom brady and drew Brees will have that x factor really mahomes gets bazooka again didn't look like they touched up or changed that anything. So there you go for Patrick Mahomes. Gambler is still going to be Aaron Rodgers' ability. Now I'm wondering, this little part here, when the best quarterbacks learn to take calculated risks. When they enter the zone, they can't be intercepted by AI defenders. I thought that's all it was last year. This whole, they've increased throw speeds. Could be wrong. That could have been, you know, a, a part of the description of the gambler ability in Madden 20. I don't think it was. They could have buffed it a little bit. Which, if they do, if they, if they are open to buffing and nerfing abilities, that's pretty cool. That's that's the way that it should be. Uh, we have Truz. If you played the beta, you would have saw this ability on Lamar Jackson. I talked about it in my beta review. But basically, it makes so when they get in the zone, no tackles made against them will result in a fumble. So on one hand, that does seem pretty goddamn overpowered. It's not going to be so bad right at the rip because it's Lamar Jackson. But once you get in your franchise modes, it might draft quarterbacks to get the Truz ability. You know, it, it could be... I don't know. It feels unfair, but in another way, the fumble issues for scrambling quarterbacks has been an issue in Madden for the last couple of years. So the fact that they kind of put an ability in to fix it is good. I'm just a little cautious that never fumble. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know why we're doing an. Why are we, why are we dealing in absolutes here? Okay, should still fumble some of the time. Should just make it greatly decrease the ability of result. Like like eliminate ninety percent chance of a fumble happening. I don't know about having a hundred. That seems a little overpowered. And then we got Blitz Radar making a return for Russell Wilson. So we know that Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Brady, and Breeze are the six quarterbacks, at least according to Madden School, that will be launching Madden 21 with an X-Factor ability. So now we're going to be going into the superstar abilities. There are a lot. Um, all right, let's get through it. I mean, I'm not going to read them out. They sound really interesting. I'm sure we can, we can delve in a little bit. But we got Fearless. Uh, they're immune to throw penalties caused by defensive pressure while they're in the pocket. That's Brady, Breeze, and Matt Ryan. Hot Route Master, that makes a return for Madden 20 for Tom Brady. Set Feet Lead, definitely sounds like a new one. Pass with this ability of increased throw power on bullet precision passes made when their feet are set. And that is for good old Tom Brady. Conductor for Tom Brady. Make your uh, blocking adjustments and Hot Route adjustments twice as fast, excluding audibles. Okay. I mean, kind of cool. Escape Artist is here. Now, this is my first big pet peeve. I did not want to see Escape Artist make a return back in Madden 21. Just because literally our first Madden 20 video, I decided I was going to rebuild the Arizona Cardinals because Kyler Murray is a rookie, 90-some speed, something crazy like that. He was going to, like, come on, he's got to play like the next Michael Vick. But Kyler Murray did not have the Escape Artist ability. So in that rebuild, we found out very quickly that if you have a scrambling quarterback, a dual-threat quarterback, that does not have the escape artist ability. They played like absolute dog shit. Kyler Murray did not feel any different rolling out of the pocket than like Ben Roethlisberger or Matt Ryan. It was frustrating. So the fact that it made its return, on one hand, they at least got the quarterbacks that should be able to scramble with, with seemingly ease. I'd say Kyler Murray, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson. You could argue for escape artist, you know, maybe Dak and Wentz could also have been considered for this, but you know, not they're not really, you know, dual threats. But I could say Dak and Wentz are probably in like the Patrick Mahomes scrambling territory. 
But I would say generally, this is an ability that I'm disappointed made its return just because a fast quarterback should play like a fast quarterback. It shouldn't be tied to ability that do, you know, essentially if you don't have escape artist, regardless of what your quarterback stats are, you you do not have a dual threat. You need to have escape artist or else you're not going to be a dual threat quarterback in Madden 21. So that's something to, to make note of. Uh, we have the quick draw ability. That's a new one, I think. Passes with the ability of faster throwing animations when under pressure. Kyler Murray, Carson Wentz, and Lamar Jackson. So there we go. Carson Wentz will have superstar abilities in Madden 21. I think that's our first new quarterback. I don't think Wentz had any in Madden 20, at least in launch. I'm pretty sure Kyler Murray got upgraded to get those abilities. So there's our first new one. Congrats, Carson Wentz. He should have had one last year. Uh, Dashing Deadeye makes a return for Patrick Mahomes here and Aaron Rodgers. Red Zone Deadeye for Mahomes and Drew Brees. No Look Deadeye, which was basically the truzz of last year. Well, you know, the truzz of last year was Bazooka. But No Look Deadeye was definitely a Mahomes-specific superstar ability. And no surprise, he is the only guy that has that in Madden 21. Uh, comeback, I don't think that's a new one, but it could be. That's for Patrick Mahomes. We have Anchored Extender. That is a new one, and it's for Mr. Dakota Rain Prescott. While in the pocket, passer with the ability are almost guaranteed to break the first sack attempt by a blitzing DB. I would argue, I would argue, hmm. I would argue between these two, Carson Wentz should have got one of them. Well, that's me. Maybe that's just me being a nitpick. Because gutsy scrambler, Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, pass with the ability are immune to throw penalties caused by defensive pressures on the run. Like Carson Wentz just eats pressure alive in the pocket and still makes ridiculous. So I would argue Wentz should have got one of these. But there we go. Dak Prescott, much like Carson Wentz, has some superstar abilities in Madden 21, which should make you know us the the the, the vicious rivalry in the NFC East. We should both be happy with that. Even though I would argue. You know, maybe Wentz should have got one more. Uh, at least one of those ones. Because, look, they get in Carson Wentz. Another one. Carson Wentz's second superstar ability is Sideline Deadeye. Passer with this ability have perfect accuracy on all throws outside the numbers. I would argue I would have gave Wentz one of these two over Sideline Deadeye. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'm just generally happy that Carson Wentz got a, a new ability. Even though I don't get to play with the Eagles a whole lot because of the nature of the beast. Uh, sleight of Hands. I think that's a new ability as well for Matt Ryan. Passer with the ability to have a higher chance of success on pump fakes and double moves. Cool. Pass lead elite here for Aaron Rodgers. We have Roaming Deadeye, Aaron Rodgers, and Deshaun Watson. Gunslinger. This is was probably, in my opinion, one of the most overpowered Madden 20 ones at launch, at least from like reading it. Uh, Passer with the ability of faster passing animations, increased velocity. So anything that comes down to animations gives you better animations. Those are generally going to be the more overpowered, more desired X-Factor abilities. And Aaron Rodgers is going to be, yet again, another very fun quarterback to use until he regresses to an unusable point in your franchise mode. Hashtag fix Madden franchise. Uh, fast break for Lamar Jackson. I think that's a new one. Password ability. Immediately respond to user input on design quarterback. Rumble. Oh, no, wait, that's not a new one. I think that might have been the one that um, Cam Newton had at launch last year. This is definitely a new one. Tight out. Pass with ability improve the catching prowess of all tight ends who are open on pass plays. So basically check downs. Lamar Jackson has it because they use a lot of tight ends, I guess, in Baltimore. That sounds pretty overpowered. If I'm going to be honest, it makes your tight ends better. And tight ends, just throwing down the tight ends was almost one of the banes of my existence when you play against all Madden in Madden 20 is that the AI quarterback will always try to just throw it quickly on a slant to the slot wide receiver to just dump it off to the tight end really quickly or dump it off to the running back. So the fact that there's a brand new ability that makes that even more overpowered, and I get it's only on Lamar Jackson at launch, but again, you need to kind of think long-term into your franchise. I'm doing a five-year rebuild. There's going to be new players that come in that get these types of abilities. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it's I view it as it's starting with Lamar Jackson, but it's only a matter of time till other big nine players get it. Uh, we got Lofting Deadeye makes a return for Drew Brees. Indoor Baller comes back for Drew Brees. We got Safety Valve, which I think was in the game, but now that I'm reading it, it was overpowered. If it was, and I didn't notice it, pass with the ability to improve the catch rating of all running backs who are open on pass play. So it's only the inverse of that tight end one. But again, because when you play on the higher difficulties, the more the AI, at least in Mad 20, hopefully it changes. Hopefully they improved it with all the, the AI and the playbooks and stuff. But they always were targeting the running backs and tight ends, and they basically have an ability now that makes it almost encouraging to do that because that's maximizing your player's strengths. I don't know. 
I would argue that I'm a little fishy. I'm a little fishy about these two. Uh, we have the clutch ability, which is through the fourth quarter games player. This can easily remain in the zone for Tom Brady and Russell Wilson. We have agile extender for Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson. Um, I think that was in the game last year, I feel like. We have jukebox. Ball carries ability of steerable juke animations for Lamar Jackson. I'm pretty sure that's also an ability for running backs. Insert Lamar Jackson is a running back meme here. Long range dead eye makes up the last ability for the quarterbacks. Pass with ability of perfect action. All deep throws while their feet are set for Russell Wilson. So as we go through it, like I said, I think the, the abilities were improved catching for your tight end and running backs sound a little, a little, you know, maybe a little crazy. But uh, generally, I don't see any ability like that. So that's broken. Outside of Escape Artist, which I just have a personal preference that that shouldn't be in the Madden games. I feel like a lot of other people share that sentiment as well. Just because, like, you know, thinking off the top of my head, who would be the fastest quarterback that didn't get this? Um, I mean, they made Herbert fast. Wentz has good speed. Dak has good speed. Rel at least relatively good speed, right? And they're not going to have, like, you know, are these guys just going to play, you know, insanely better, a lot more mobile, and, and their their overall attributes, athletic attributes, are going to represent it better when you're playing because they have the escape artist. I, I think that there's going to be an issue with that, personally. And we at least, you know, at the end, we get to see all the all the new quarterback abilities. We got Wentz is an X Factor. Deshaun's an X or superstar ability. Wentz is superstar ability. Dak has superstar ability. So uh, let me know how you guys feel about these in the comment section below. I, again, I don't know. You know, YouTube would probably say I need to get these out relatively quickly and not just spread them over the week because by now everyone's going to be finding out this information. But uh, yeah, we will be going through the rest of the positions as we got running backs, wide receiver and tight end, linemen defensive players, and all that stuff that we will be breaking down. But we just started with the quarterback. So let me know how you feel about these in the comment section. Well, I definitely want to hear what you guys think about the escape artists. Are we on the same page here? Or am I kind of off you know, off base with my feeling on escape artists? But let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if it's your first time stopping by. We're on our way to 150,000 subscribers. We'd love to hit that sooner than later as we get ready for Madden 21 season. Smash that like button. And until next time, it's C4. Same peace out.